Very yum, we bien, with cinnamon and locusts and wild beeswax and licorice and carrageen moss and blaster of berries and asters mace and huster and mixture and yellow nans embroidery. In defiance of the uncontrollable birth preservativation game and poultry act, playing lallery rook cookery nook by the dodginess of his lantern, brewled and cocked and potched in an athanor, whites and yolks and yolks and quotes, to the frolling credence of Mas Blanca Kela Blanca Hermana, and Amari Yamwidien, with cinnamon and locusts and wild beeswax and licorice and carrageen moss and blaster of berries and asters mace and husters mixture and yellow nan's embrocation and pinking tones patty and stardust and sinner's tears, accurate to Sheridan's art of panning, chanting for all regale to the light of the lags he left behind, with litty fun litty fan leaving, his can traps of fermented words, abracadabra calubra calorum, his oaks a la Madame Gabrielle de l'Eglise, his avs a la mistress B de B Meinfeld, his ayers usquad mala a la pomme his woves, oves, and oves a la sulfat de soude, his ocuri saute saumone a la monseigneur, his soufflosion of oves with some cat on toyas a la mer roi, his porgadovis a la fenella, his free eggs a la tricarem, in what was meant for a closet. Ah ho, if only he had listened better to the four masters that infanted him, Father Matthew, and Le Père Noble, and Pastor Lucas, and Padre Aguilar, not forgetting late teacher Baldwin. Ah ho. His costive Satan's antimony and manganese lit more litmus nature never needed such an alcove so when Robert and Munsell, the pulpit dictators, on the nudgment of their legal advisers, Messrs. Codex and Podex, and under his own benefiction of their pastor, Father Flamius Falconer, boycotted him of all mutton suet candles and Rome rule stationery for any purpose. He winged away on a wild goop's chase across the cathartic ocean and made synthetic ink and sensitive paper for his own end out of his wit's waste. You ask, in Sam Hill how? Let manner and matter of this, for these are sporting times, be cloaked up in the language of blush-fed pauperous, that an Anglican ordinal, not reading his own rude dunsky tunga, may ever behold the brand of scarlet on the brow of her of Babylon and feel not the pink one in his own damned cheek. Primum opifex, altus prosanto, ad teram vivi param, et cumti potentem, sine uro pudore nec venia, succepto pluviali atque distinctis perizomatis, natibus nudis uti nati quisent, sese ad propinquam, flens et gemens, in manum suam evacuavit, highly prosy, crap in his hands, sorry, postea, animale nigro exoneratus, classicum pulsans, stercus propium, quad apelavit, de exiones suas, in vas olim honorabile tristitiae posuit, eolem sub invocationi fratorum geminorum medardi et guardardi lete at melifue minxis, salmum qui incipit, lingua mea calamus scribe velocitas scribentis, magna voce candidam, didapis, says he was dejected, asks to be exonerated, demo mex stercore torti cum divi oriones jucunditate mixed. Cocto, priorique exposito, and custom city fated indelibile. Fake your lions, the indelibly. Then pious and yes, conformance to the full and firman which enjoins on the tremulous terrian that when the call comes, he shall produce, nicknamically from his unheavenly body, a no uncertain quantity of obscene matter, not protected by copyright in the united stars of Arania, all be deed and be doed and be dang and be done to him, with this double dye, brought to blood heat, gallic acid on iron ore, through the bowels of his misery, flashly, faithfully, nastily, appropriately, this is when Menchivik, and the first to last alchemist, wrote over every square inch of the only fool's cap available, his own body, till by its corrosive sublimation, one continuous present tense integument, slowly unfolded, all merry voicing, mood molded, cycle wheeling history, thereby he said, reflecting from his own individual person, life unlivable, and accidentated through the slow fires of consciousness into a individual chaos, perilous, potent, common to all flesh, human only, mortal, but with each word that would not pass away, the squid self, which he had squirt screened from the crystalline world, wane shagreen old and dorian greyer in its dodhood. This exists that is its after having been said, we know, and dabble take that note, and the dull dabble dab al danaba. So perhaps, ag lag agglomeratively as a spanking. After all, and our class for our list on his last public misappearance, circling the square for the death fate of St. Ignatius Poison Ivy of the Pickle Crowd upon the sixth day of Hogsover, kill him our king, lay him low. And brandishing his bell bearing stylo, the shining key man of the wiles of change, if what is sauce for the Zazzy is sauce for the Zazimas, the blonde cop who thought it was ink was out of his depth, but bright in the main. Betty Constable's sister son, of the Christ Grand Crawl, it was the parochial watch, dig the dog, the dig the bog, the bag of the dog, the bag of the dog, the dog, who had been detailed from Pollux Stotis to save him, this the quem quem, that the quum, from the ligature liable effects of foul play in little plots, and mob mauling on looks, that wrong count of the tender foot and evening here, the living's means union gatherum, not Marie Comptine, reeling more to the right than he lurched to the left, on his way from a proto prostitute, he would always have a stip, little pigeonet somewhere, with his arch girl Arco Iris, smock name of Nugget, just as he was butting in round the corner of bad times, under a hideful between the rival doors of warm battles of worship, through his bordel house songston, greeting for grazious auras as usual, where ladies have they that a dog means sort herring? Serge, oh, search me, the incapable. I'm Chris Hansen. Welcome back to Datelines to Catch a Predator. On tonight's investigation, a would-be predator travels over 93 million miles to our sting house in Fairfield, Connecticut, to meet with what he assumes is a 15-year-old girl. I can safely say in 24 years of television, we've never had a catch quite like this. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Whoa. Online, the Predator uses the screen name Great Warrior 87 to speak to our decoy named Ellen. LOL, am I gonna see you tonight? <laughs> what are we going to do later? <laughs> he sent her photos of weapons and spinal cords and openly discussed plans to marry her, saying, I want to make you my trophy. Now this predator was smarter than most, never directly asking for sex and instead using euphemisms such as, are you a skilled warrior, would you be a challenging hunt, and 
To be clear, I am intending to fight you to the death, and I'm not interested in human mating practices. But when you've been doing this job as long as I have, you can spot a predator a mile away. Wait, where'd he go? <coughs> what was your plan here tonight? <coughs> you think I haven't heard that story before? <coughs> Do you think her parents would be comfortable with her, a 15-year-old girl, meeting a 340-year-old man? Did you bring any condoms with you? Did you bring any weapons? Now in the chat logs you describe this all as a game. Is she really a game to you? She asks if you've ever done this before. You say yes. You tell her about a party you went to in Guatemala. You tell her, I finished off several guys in the jungle. Is that really an appropriate thing to tell a 15-year-old girl? So how many times have you done this before? You seem to have a lot of time in your hands. What do you do for work? A nonce and a racist. Checking all the boxes, huh? Well, before you go, you should know that I'm Chris Hansen, and we're here tonight doing a story about child predators. And that if you have nothing else to say, a task force are waiting on the other side of the door when you're ready to leave. Yes, you're free to go. I don't have any control over that. It's a shame you didn't bring any pizza. I'm kind of hungry. Partied with a self-evident subtlety, so obviously spurious, and raising his hair after the grace with the Christmas under his hot arm for Portsy Masser and Partsy Messes and Partsy Miss and Partsy Masters, like a prancer findingos with a shell to shell to slipney slipney in his skittles. Swiky. The all white poor's guardian, palpably a baltosic stomach, was literally astonished over the painful sake, how he bushed the self, which he was gone to, where he intended to did he, whether you think will, wherein the whole current of the afternoon was the search of a search had the pits of him's urge and staggered there too in his country ports at the Caledonian capacity for you to whiskey of the captain's wineskin, and even more so during looking his big most astonishment, it was said him, a shoe, from the concerned outgift of the dead med how that Arab Jibus consumed to the Dominical order, an ex King Nobish permish, he was namely coon bringer at home two gallants as per royal full poultry till his murder. Nip up and nab it. Paul her dice cuts down the hoplites. Kick, what mother? Whose porter? Which pair? Why name they cool? But our undiligence has been thorough tested, so enough of such porter black lonies. Too base for printing. Perpending that pottery co-cursal pulls the cold stone out of winter waters and silver seas sing the harring our king, set oct nov des Jonfid's mark. We cannot in mercy or justice, nor on the love for labyrinthos, stay here for the residence of our existings, discussing hamster ham of ten man's thirst. Justius, to him other. Brawn is my name and broad is my nature, and I bright on my brow and all's right with every feature, and I'll broom this bird or brown Bess's bung's gun bandy. I'm the boy to bruise and braise. Bouse. Stand for. Nay, man of no land, for no longer will I follow you oblique like through the inspired form of the third person singular and the moods and hesitancies of the opponent, but address myself to you with the imperative of my vindictive, provocative, and out direct. Stand for, come boldly, jolly me, move me, swing though I am to laughter in your true colors, ere you be back forever till I give you your talking to. Shem McAdamson, you know me and I know you and all your shemeries. Where have you been in the uterine, enjoying yourself all the morning since your last wet bed confession? I advise you to conceive yourself, my little friend, as I have said a moment ago, and put your hands in my hands and have a night's long, homely little configure about things. Let me see. It is looking pretty black against you, we suggest, shame of it. You will need all the elements in the river to clean you over it all, and a fortifying folks priest power bull of a tender to boot. Let us try. We thought, would, and did. Cur, quiquid, ubi, quando, quamodo, quoties, quibus auxilius. You are bred, fed, fostered, and fattened from holy childhood, up in this two Easter island, on the pie jaw of hilarious heaven, and roaring the other place. Plunders the night of you, blunders what's left of you, flashes flash can, and now, forsooth, a nodder among the blankards of this dastard century, you have become a twosome twy minds, for hence gods, hidden and discovered, nay, condemned fool, anarch, egoarch, heresiarch, you have reared your disunited kingdom on the vacuum of your own most intensely doubtful soul. Do you hold yourself then for some god in the manger, Shehohem, that you will neither serve nor let serve, pray nor let pray? And here, pay the piety, must I to nerve myself to pray for the loss of self-respect, to equip me for the horrible necessity of scandalizing? My dear sisters, are you ready? By sloughing off my hope and tremors while we all swim together in the pool of Sodom? I shall shiver for my purity, while they will weep big for your sins. Away with covered words, new Solomonites, for old bad sheep bath. That in harmonious detail, did you name it? Cold Caldor? G. Victory? Now, a pro of underslung pipes. John Jacobs, while yet an adolescent, what do I say? While still puerile in your tub suit with button legs, you've got a handsome present to the self-raising syringe and twin feeders. You know, Monsieur Abgott, in your art of arts, to your cost as well as I do. And don't try to hide it, the penal lots I am now poking at. And the wee sort of was you should, if you were as bold a stroke now as the curate that christened you. Sunny doubt the candle, repopulate the land of your birth, and count up your progeny by the hungered head and the angered thousand. But you thwarted the wise tish of your co-god parents, soft, among countless occasions of failing. For, said you, I will elencate. Adding to the malice of your transgression, yes, and changing its nature. You see, I have read your theology for you, alternating the morosity of my delectations, a filtered love, twisting by tantrums, small peace in penmark, 
with sensibility, responsibility, passive.